What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Champions League Final Aftermath Analysis video where we will look at what Jurgen Klopp, Jamie Carragher, Jordan Henderson and Jose Mourinho and Arsene Wenger said about Liverpool's Champions League Final win. I'm still absolutely buzzing. Liverpool are kings of Europe. Six times Liverpool have won the European Cup. We are now in third place outright in terms of uh, the most successful clubs in Europe. Only AC Milan and Real Madrid are ahead of Liverpool. We have overtaken Barcelona and Bayern Munich who have been on five Champions League wins. And let me know guys, what do you think about Liverpool's future? Because Jordan Henderson told the Sky Sports News that Liverpool want to win more trophies. This is only the start of this great dynasty, the Jurgen Klopp dynasty, and I'm so incredibly happy and excited and proud of this team because Jurgen Klopp is now an Anfield legend. He will, his name will be forever in Anfield history, Liverpool history and football history. Only uh, like three or four other managers won uh, Champions League trophies. I think Bob Paisley won three Champions Leagues and Joe Fagan won one. Of course, uh, Rafa Benitez won a Champions League trophy and now Jurgen Klopp. So Jurgen Klopp is only the fourth Liverpool manager to win a Champions League trophy. And you, Jordan Henderson says that Liverpool want to do as well as Manchester City or even better in that we want to win multiple trophies every season and this is what Jordan Henderson said about the future Football moves quickly and we will go again and keep wanting more. To show that desire to keep wanting to improve and want more trophies, that is what we have got to do. Before this game I said Man City don't just win one, two or three trophies. That is what we are trying to aim for and I know in this group we want to do that. We are young enough to stay together and hopefully we can do that for a long period of time. And without Klopp, this is impossible. He will take all of the credit and rightfully so because what he has created at this football club is amazing. This team has created the atmosphere, he is creating the connection uh, with the fans, is unbelievable. So all the praise goes to him. And Jordan Henderson was praised by Jurgen Klopp saying that one of the most satisfying things about this Champions League win is Jordan Henderson as a Liverpool captain lifting the Champions League trophy and I think how Jordan Henderson actually lifted the trophy was like perfect honestly and who would have thought that Jordan Henderson could step in the footsteps of uh, Steven Gerrard because Steven Gerrard was probably the best player that ever played for Liverpool. He won 10 or 11 trophies at Liverpool. He captained Liverpool to a Champions League final comeback from 3-0 down. But now, in terms of Champions League success, Jordan Henderson is on the same level as Steven Gerrard. They both played two Champions League finals and they lost one and won a uh, Champions League. And Jordan Henderson still has a, a good seven six, seven years ahead of him, hopefully at Liverpool. I'm not comparing them in terms of players because Jordan Henderson is a different kind of player to Steven Gerrard and obviously Steven Gerrard was a very unique, world-class player, my favorite all-time Liverpool player. But Jordan Henderson has been like abused and ridiculed by so, so many rival fans. He was joked as a five yard and, uh, and something like that by even some Liverpool fans, I heard that mentioned before and I think Jordan Henderson is much much more than what he gets credit for and I'm I'm so incredibly happy that uh, he lifted the Champions League trophy because honestly he deserved it for all the hard work that he put into this into his Liverpool career and just look at the player that he was when we signed him from Hen from Sunderland and look at the player he is now he improved so so much and and Jurgen Klopp said this uh, about Henderson, that that is one of the most satisfying things about winning the Champions League, to see Henderson finally get the credit that he deserves. Uh, and Jamie Carragher, of course, a Liverpool legend, uh, the L Liverpool player with the most appearances, uh, 737 appearances, I think, in total. He said Jurgen Klopp is the most important, most vital man 
at Liverpool right now. This is what he said about Jurgen Klopp. I think Klopp is the number one at the club. He's the manager, of course, but what I mean is he's the most important figure. If you ask me, would I rather lose Virgil van Dijk or the manager, I would say van Dijk. I think he's a special manager, Jurgen Klopp. I don't know what his contract situation is, but uh, give him a new one and hopefully now he can push on. He's got that monkey off his back with that first big trophy, first time he's won the Champions League after so many finals without a win. Just my comment, this was Jurgen Klopp's third Champions League final, he lost one with Dortmund, he lost one with Liverpool, so finally Jurgen Klopp gets a well-deserved Champions League win, so happy for him. And also after six final losses in a row, finally Jurgen Klopp gets a winner's medal and he deserves it. He has elevated Liverpool to really really big levels, really high levels and Jeremy Carragher continued. Hopefully for him and that set of players it's not just a one-off. He's always done seven years at his clubs so in 2022 it will have been seven years. Let's try and make it 17. <laughs> so Jamie Carragher wants to <laughs> wants you to stay on after his contract runs out for another 10 years. The next step is to continually compete as they have done this season for the Premier League and the Champions League. The Premier League is the big one Liverpool want of course but Man City are such a good side it's going to be difficult. At this moment Liverpool are well equipped. They have won the Champions League so they are going to be there or there about for most seasons in the competition now and they have to do that in the Premier League which is something weird that um, and he is talking about the team that he was in Carragher never did enough of that's what they have to do next season is really push Man City Carragher is right even when Liverpool were in the Champions League finals in semi-finals in quarter-finals very regularly on the Rafa Benitez we never consistently challenged for the, champ the Premier League title. We had like two title challenges in like the 20 years before Jurgen Klopp came in. Uh, two, two or f maybe three title challenges, but only one serious title challenge on the Rafa Benitez in seven years. And that, that's not enough. And yes, we challenged for the title on the Brandon Rodgers once as well. But now what Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool needs to do and I fully agree with Carragher here, is that we need to challenge for the Premier League title every year. We need to challenge for the Champions League trophy every year. Try to get to the semi-finals, the finals, and try to win as many trophies as possible. Because who knows how long this great generation of Liverpool players will last. Who knows how long we will have Jurgen Klopp as manager. So let's ride this wave as high as we can and try to win as many trophies in this Jurgen Klopp era, if you like as possible. And Jamie Carragher says Van Dijk and Alisson made the difference in the final and I agree Alisson was my man of the match for the Champions League final. After re-watching the highlights he has been immense in the last 20 minutes. He saved so many shots of Tottenham where they really tried desperately to get a go back and uh, Carragher agrees. He said Van Dijk and Alisson made the big difference between the teams really. I love, Tot I love Tottenham. The job Mauricio Pochettino has done is brilliant. I think for the last 8 or 9 years Spurs have finished above Liverpool in the league consistently. The difference is that Liverpool have got the ability to go and change that by buying a goalkeeper for a world record fee and the best centre-back in the world. Tottenham haven't got that. They haven't bought a player for nearly 2 years. So that just shows the job. Pochettino has done. That was the difference last night in Liverpool winning that trophy and Spurs not coming out on top because you need those players that will make the difference and they showed again, uh, showed it again last night and Carragher said it's fantastic for Mohamed Salah. At times he splits the Liverpool fans. Jeremy Carragher commented on Jordan Henderson. It's fantastic for Henderson. At times he splits the Liverpool fans which I think is very unfair but now he's a European champion. One of the greatest images of last night is not just Jordan Henderson lifting the Champions League trophy but seeing him with his dad at the side of the pitch. I know his dad quite well and what they have been through together. It is a great way for him to end the season having that great moment with his dad. It was a massive blow for Liverpool last season losing Salah who went off injured uh, against Real Madrid. I, they, I think they would have coped better if they lost Salah or Sadio Mane in the opening moments of the game like last year. S Liverpool didn't have the squad um, last year and this that's why the signings they made in the summer 
made that big difference. It meant that they could go one step further. I'm delighted for Salah. He has had another great season. A lot of people have questioned him at times, but he was never going to have the season he had last season. He was still the top scorer in the Premier League and scored in the Champions League final. So Mohamed Salah has done it right. Full, fully agree with Jamie Carragher. And now let's listen to what Jose Mourinho said about Liverpool and about the Champions League final. He labelled the game not very, very good and he also said that Liverpool were pragmatic in the Champions League final. So this is what he said. I think that three midfield Liverpool players, if we are going to see the wave of their positioning, they played on a straight line in front of the back four. You don't remember Henderson, Wijnaldum, Fabinho, Milner being close to the attacking three players to have one arrive in the box, nothing. They stayed in a block of seven. They were very pr pragmatic, very solid defensively. I think also that if this match is not the Champions League final, if it is a Premier League match or the final of the League Cup, we would all say the game was not good. But because it is a Champions League final, it has this emotional side of it. But I think the quality of the game was not good and Tottenham have to be frustrated because they lost and they will feel that they are better than this. These big moments are when you have to be at your best level. And Jose Mourinho of course has a point, but I think the reasons for that is that both teams had a free week break and they weren't really in the rhythm. A free weeks is a lot in terms of uh, they never have a free week break during the season. And uh, it was like a summer break almost, but not enough for uh, pre-season to kick in and anything like that. I think a three week break is too much. I think two weeks should be the maximum where between the last Premier League game and the Champions League final. But of course UEFA's schedule doesn't allow that. And another factor was that uh, in Madrid there was a very very hot temperature. The players probably aren't used to that because they are used to the English weather and it was like 30 degrees Celsius, something like that in Madrid even in the evening at the time of the Champions League final. So I think uh, both Liverpool and Tottenham struggled because of that. But actually Liverpool I think surrendered possession mainly because we were leading 1-0 and we were, we were looking to hit Tottenham on the counter-attack and it would have been completely the opposite way if Tottenham take the lead that's why I said I think it's vital who takes the lead and also Liverpool could rely on their defense because we knew that we had such a strong solid defense that we didn't really want to risk anything and I I fully understand that and also Liverpool had the chances to put the game to bed even before Origi scored the second goal and Tottenham's first shot on target came in the 70th minute so Liverpool for 70 minutes were the better team. Last 20 minutes it was of course Tottenham throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Liverpool and Liverpool had to defend at times Alisson made some crucial saves but when it mattered the most Divo Corrigi popped up with a goal and I'm so so happy for him. So Liverpool only had 35% possession we only had a pass accuracy of 64% which is actually the lowest pass accuracy of any team in the Champions League final since uh, these uh, metrics were uh, recorded in 2009 but I don't really care about that. The most important thing in the Champions League final is the result. You don't really uh, care um, how you play. It's a bonus of course if you play magnificent football but Liverpool played magnificent beautiful football for the whole season so I think we can excuse Liverpool under the circumstances that they didn't really uh, play their best football in the Champions League final. Tottenham also didn't play well I feel and apart from the last 20 minutes Tottenham didn't really threaten Liverpool and Wenger, Arsene Wenger said this about the Champions League final at the end of the day the game was decided by two set pieces. I personally believe it was a very very average, average Liverpool performance and that there was more in this game for Tottenham. They lacked a bit of a killer instinct and I felt it was more linked with the psychological side uh, than the real quality. I felt like they believed uh, but without really 100% believing uh, that's how Tottenham were tonight. So yeah that's what uh, that's Arsene Wenger's point and I think uh, I agree with him. Uh, Tottenham probably didn't like 100% believe that they could beat Liverpool 
and maybe that was their downfall. And James Miller said this, the amount of work to you do to get these knights in the Champions League, I think the hurt of last year also getting to 97 points and not to get over the line in the Premier League, it goes back to the character and the ability of the squad to pick ourselves up and beat the teams we have done in the Champions League this year, shows the quality but also the heart, the desire and the team spirit. Nobody can argue really whether Liverpool deserved the Champions League or not because we qualified from a group with Paris Saint-Germain and Napoli in it. We also knocked out Bayern Munich, FC Porto who are no mugs, they are very good and Barcelona and we beat Barcelona, one of the greatest Barcelona sides 4-0 with the greatest footballer that ever played in the history of the game and we wiped the floor with Barcelona and Anfield so and we beat Tottenham in the final and also we beat Tottenham three times this season both times in the Premier League and in the Champions League final scoring six goals in total against Tottenham in three games so I don't think anybody really can argue seriously that we we didn't deserve the Champions League final but that's just my opinion let me know what is your opinion and Jurgen Klopp also said that after Champions League final lost last year against Real Madrid in Kiev he was uh, singing with his uh, staff and some Liverpool fans about Madrid having all the luck and Liverpool will bring back the trophy to Anfield in the future but he never imagined in his wildest dreams that this could happen just one year after that heartbreaking moment and it was also so good to see Karius congratulating the Liverpool team uh, on the Champions League final win he wasn't in the stadium because he didn't really want to distract the Liverpool players which is very fair and very noble of him but also I think Karius seeing Liverpool win the Champions League maybe that lifted his spirits and maybe um, it, it uh, banished the, the ghosts of, uh, of the Champions League final nightmare that he had against Real Madrid and it's, it's actually weird because probably Liverpool played better football against Real Madrid last year when we lost 3-1 but we had no luck in that final and in this final uh, things went Liverpool's way let's, let's uh, put it that way and this is football. Sometimes you play well and you, you lose. And sometimes you play not your best, but you can still win the game. And that happens. Uh, the best teams in football can like play okay and still win the game. Chelsea against Bayern Munich in their only Champions League win, they didn't play as well as Bayern Munich. Bayern deserved to win that game and uh, Chelsea ran out winners or penalties. Another case, Inter against Bayern. I remember when Jose Mourinho was Inter manager. Inter were under pressure for the majority of the game against Bayern, but they scored two goals on the counter-attack and they won the game. And I'm not saying that Tottenham should have won the game or they, they deserved to win the game. I said in my post-match analysis video that the fair result would have been Liverpool 2, Tottenham 1, so I think Liverpool still shaded it, but seven, first 70 minutes Liverpool were the better team, last 20, 25, 30 minutes maybe Tottenham were the better team. Overall, I think Liverpool still deserved to win the game because we took our chances, Tottenham didn't, they lacked the killer instinct. And Jurgen Klopp said that Alisson had to make a few saves. He of course played a sensational game, absolutely. He, log he looked completely unbeatable pretty much and that helped us. We scored goals in the right moment. These are Jurgen Klopp's words and I quote Usually I always sit here a bit earlier and have to explain how you can lose this game. This time I don't want to explain why we won it. I only want to enjoy that we won it. All the rest is not important. It's for all the people around the world. In the stadium they are with us and now celebrating like crazy. Whoever is in Liverpool tomorrow, we will celebrate together and we will have a sensational night. And it was so, so touching see, to see Henderson, Jurgen Klopp, Van Dijk and all the, all the Liverpool players crying on the pitch. It just showed what this meant for all the Liverpool players and how much hard work and, uh, and uh, like uh, sweat, tears and really grit and determination went into this whole season. Liverpool players did their absolute best 
this season and every single one of them deserves huge credit. I'm especially happy for Jordan Henderson, I already said that, but I'm also so happy for Divo Corrigi after, after his injury troubles to score in the Champions League final. Brilliant. Salah after getting injured last summer in the final, scoring in the Champions League final. Fabulous. Daniel Sturridge finally getting over the line with Liverpool and winning a big, tro big trophy. Uh, Daniel Sturridge won the Champions League with Chelsea but he didn't play in the final and this time again he won the Champions League with Liverpool and didn't play in the final. But Sturridge was close a couple of times with Liverpool already. He scored in the Europa League final against Sevilla but we didn't win that. He also scored a lot of goals in our title challenge in 2013-14. We didn't win the title then. But this time, Sturridge could dance with the Champions League trophy. I love that picture. And, uh, and huge credit goes to him, who also scored against Paris Saint-Germain, for example. So he contributed. And I'm, I'm very, just very happy over the moon. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.